Welcome to another video. So today we will be discussing all about 10 different protozoan infections. We will be talking about the names of the diseases caused by these protozoans, the causative agent compa uh, complete name, the vector that transmits these diseases, the mode of transmission and the treatment for the disease. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and leaving such beautiful comments for me to read. I really appreciate them. If you have any more video ideas, do feel free to leave it down in the comments and I'll try my best to make videos on those. Now, without much ado, let's get right into the video. So the first infection caused by the protozoan is called as trypanosomonaisis which is commonly known as the sleeping sickness. It is caused by the organism Trypanosoma brucei, which has two substrains, that is Gambiense and Rodiense. Now, the Gambiense strain of Trypanosoma brucei is predominant in the Western Africa, whereas the other strain is predominant in the Eastern Africa. It is transmitted by this class of flies called as Glossina, and this is called as tessi tessi fly. Basically, it is the vector that harbors this protozoan and contamination of this by this fly of any food or water, if done so, if it is ingested by humans, then you get the sleeping sickness. It is named as sleeping sickness because it basically hampers your sleep pattern. Okay, the people are more and more tend to, once infected, more and more time they tend to uh, you know, sleep. Next is the drug that is available for this. So the drug is Nifertimox along with Benzidazole. Okay. Now the sad part about sleeping sickness is it is basically congenital, meaning it can be transferred from the pregnant mother to her baby as well. The second one is called as the Chagas disease. This is also basically your trypanosomoniasis. However, this is the American version of it. This is caused by a different protozoan of the same class that is Trypanosoma. However, the species, the genus of both is same, but the species is cruzy. So this is Trypanosoma cruzy. And basically the transmission is through the insect feces. And these bugs are commonly known as the kissing bugs and they belong to this particular class okay the treatment is by giving them benzinidazole and nefertimox similar to the previous case next is called as lishmaniasis or also known as kala azar and in local language it is called as the dum dum fever now the causative agent for this is lishmania donovani and it is transmitted via the sand fly, okay? The vaccination is not available. However, the drug Amphotrecin B, this is given via IV, the intravenous route, and the oral antibiotic given is multi, multifocine, okay? Next one is amoebiasis. Many of, must, of us must have heard about this. It is called as amoebic dysentery. Usually found um, in travelers because it is spread via contaminated food or water that consists the cyst of these protozoans and amoeba histolytica. It can also be spread sexually through the oral anal contact. The drugs used to cure is nitroimidazole. Next up, malaria. So basically, malaria is caused by these strains. Five different are there. Plasmodium is the main organism, the genus. The species are Plasmodium falciparum, which basically causes the most severe form of malaria. It involves cerebral damage. So it's also called as a causative agent for cerebral fever. It also causes pernicious anemia. Next one is Plasmodium malariae, then the common one we must have heard about Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium ovale, and Plasmodium nolesi. Now the transmission is via the female Anopheles mosquito. The first ever drug against malaria was quinine, 
which is basically obtained from the bark of this particular plant that is sinsona and this is basically very important mcq that many places ask then the other drug that is recently discovered is artemisin which is basically uh, coming from the ajwine plant so again there was a nobel prize given to this if you want to know about the list of the nobel prize and the nobel laureates i'll put it up here in the i button and down in the description i'll have the playlist definitely go check it out next one is the other manifestation that is caused called as pyorrhea so pyorrhea has a common name called as the periodontitis as the main name suggest odontitis something to do with odontology now what is odontology again if you want to know i have made a video on the different types of logies that are present you can check the i button now odontology basically study of teeth so obviously pyorrhea has to do something with the teeth and basically it is, it is the degradation of the enamel caused by this commensal bacteria ant amoeba gingivalis now usually this um, is a commensal that is it is present in your mouth but doesn't cause any problem but if there is some ph difference or if there uh, the useful microorganism balance is disrupted then this becomes opportunistic and causes gingivitis that is inflammation of the gum it is also transmitted basically from person to person so orally via kissing or through the use of fomites that can be transmitted the vac uh, the drug for this is nitroimidazole and metronidazole next is called as grd acid now grd acid is caused by the big protozoan called as giardia intestinalis and intestinalis and giardia basically it was previously named as giardia lamblia so many places you will find the name giardia lamblia but recently it is now called as the giardia intestinalis and it is also transmitted from person to person via contaminated water food or by the ingestion of different things okay next one is the drug or the vaccination so no vaccination however the drug again it can be given is metronidazole next one the eighth one is trichomoniasis let me just remind you to like the video if you found it useful and definitely subscribe to my channel next one is trichomoniasis which is called commonly as trich and it is caused by the protozoan trichomonas vaginalis it is basically a flagellate that is pear shaped and it is transmitted through sexual contact again the drugs metronidazole and tenidazole can be used against this next is called as toxoplasmosis it is caused by the protozoan toxoplasma gonidae and it is basically transmitted through the consumption of uncooked contaminated meat or via infected cat feces it can also be transmitted from the mother to the child okay the drugs that can be used are primethin and sulfadazine along with folinic acid last protozoan disease is the cryptosporidiosis which is an intestinal infection caused by cryptosporidium parvum and it is spread by the contact with an infected person's stool or through the stools of animal or also through the consumption of contaminated water this can be treated by using nitazo exaint okay so these are the different protozoan infections the causative agents and the transmission plus drugs if any of you want any other topics let me know in the comments and that's it from me for today i'll see you in my next video bye